hi guys welcome back to our channel if you are new here my name is chanel the owner of three balls handmade soap some more and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this sea moss soap all right y'all so as always i have all of my items all of my supplies out on the table what we're going to be using um today we're going to be working with some sea moss so this right here is my very first time working with sea moss i don't really know what to expect i did see um i did do some research so i have seen quite a few things but um we're just gonna roll with it and hope for the best i also have some glacial marine green clay up here i'm undecided on if i'm going to use this clay or not if i do then i um of course i will let you guys know and i do have two bowls here this time two of these silver bowls because i am going to be soaking this in this bowl here but all right we're going to go ahead and clean out the table well, i'm going to go ahead and clean off my table and then we'll get started all right so now we're going to get ready to make our gel and according to the instructions we need to place one cup of sea moss in a bowl and let it soak for 10 minutes. Replace the water and rinse off the sea moss again to remove excess elements. You will likely need to change the water a few times to remove all of the sand. All right, so we're just pretty much going to rinse this until our water turns clear. I don't know how well my camera's gonna pick that up, but you can kind of see all the looks like sand or something. All the sea elements on there. You can see it coming off in the pan too. So let me go ahead and get some just regular sink water to rinse this off, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the water, and now it says to let it sit for 10 minutes. So I guess we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. And then we'll come back. And I, I can see, y'all see how the water is already like cloudy? So yeah. But you just want, pretty much you just wanna make sure that you thoroughly clean the sea moss. So we're gonna let this sit maybe five minutes and then I'll be right back. All right, so now it's been about five, 10 minutes or so and now you can tell the water is cloudy hopefully my camera can pick that up but um so now I'm just going to take this to the sink I'm going to rinse this off and then we're going to repeat it again minus letting it sit for 10 minutes so I'm going to rinse, rinse this water off and then put new water in there and then we're just going to wash it again all right so now we're on to round two so we're just going to just wash it like I said, just wash it really good to make sure we're getting off all the sand and whatever else that may be in here. Just going to continue to repeat this until the water turns clear. And while I'm doing this too, I am like just trying to rub it together to kind of help get, you know, the sand and stuff off. All right, y'all. So I think we got it rinsed off pretty good. For the most part, looks like our water is pretty clear. So 
Now we're just going to, let me see what it says. Okay, so after thoroughly cleansing the sea moss, soak it in spring water or distilled water to rehydrate for about 6 to 15 hours. The sea moss will enlarge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain this again. And then um, I'm going to come back with some distilled water. I'm going to put distilled water in mine and I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. So let me go pour this off and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that I have it drained, it took me about, I think it was like four or five different washes to really clean it. So now I'm just going to get my distilled water and we're going to cover this up. I mean, fill this up, put enough in here to cover it. Put enough water in here to cover it and then we're gonna close it off seal it up and put it to the side till tomorrow it didn't really say how much water to put in here um so yeah we're just gonna use that amount and now i'm just going to put some clean wrap on this until tomorrow. Alright, and so like it said, it will um, enlarge tomorrow. So tomorrow it's going to be a lot bigger. Alright, so now we wait. All right, so exactly 24 hours later, it was time for me to go ahead and blend up my sea moss. So right here, I'm just going to take, well, I just took about a handful of the sea moss. I did not use all of this water that the sea moss was sitting in. I used about two cups to start with. I wanted to start, start out with a small amount of water and then just add if I needed to, but I didn't end up adding any more water. This amount was perfect for me. So once I added in the water, I then put it on my blender and I just blended it until I reached a applesauce type consistency. And if anyone is wondering, I have my blender set on, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but my blender is set on low puree. I started out on low puree and then I switched it to high puree. Alright, so now that my sea moss is all blended up, this is what I got. It looks just like applesauce and of course if yours is a little bit too thick you can always add a little bit more water and if it's a little bit too runny i'm guessing that if you do have a little bit of sea moss left over that was soaking in the bowl like i got over here i guess i could just easily add in more if it was too runny i'm not for sure about that part but um so now i'm just going to take this sea moss my sea moss gel and I'm going to put this in my jar. From my understanding, I believe this can be kept in the fridge for up to 14 days, I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think that's what I um, seen when I was doing my research on it. So, which I do plan on using up the rest of this within those 14 days. All right, so now that I have my sea moss gel out of the way, it was time for me to go ahead and finish weighing out the rest of my ingredients. I will have the ingredients listed down below for those of you that are interested. And for this soap, I did replace 10% of my water with the sea moss gel. So 10% of my water was replaced with the sea moss gel. Once my oils and my water lye solution had cooled to room temp, it was time for me to go ahead and blend them together. Now I did not add the sea moss 
gel before I added the water lye solution because sea moss can speed up trace and I did not want that to happen. So it is recommended that you wait until after you reach a light trace to add in the sea moss gel. But right here, I'm just going to continue to blend up my oils and my water lye solution until I reach a very light trace. So once I reached my desired trace, which I went a little bit past my light trace, it was time for me to go ahead and add in my sea moss gel. Again, I only replaced 10% of my liquid with this gel. From what I have seen, mostly everyone was just only replacing 10%. So I'm guessing that's just the amount that can be replaced. I don't know if you can replace more than that, Somebody please let me know down below because I am definitely making this soap again. And when I make it again, I do want to add in clays and essential oils. I just wanted to keep it very simple this first time, just so that way, again, I can kind of get a feel of how it would behave in soap. So now that I have my sea moss gel all blended up into my soap, it is time for me to go ahead and add this to my soap mold. And to me, this kind of looks like pudding, almost like vanilla pudding, kinda. It was very, it did have a very, very creamy look to it. Um, again, I will most definitely be making another sea moss soap because I want to play around with it with clays and essential oils. So y'all stay tuned for that video. And if you are enjoying this video thus far, please consider hitting the like button if you have not done so already. That way YouTube will know to send this video out to more people. So thank you if you have hit the like button already. And if you haven't, please consider doing so. So now that I have my soap into my mold, I just tapped it on the table a little bit to try to get out whatever air bubbles that may be in there. And y'all will see in the next clip that I did still have a ton of bubbles in my soap. But right here, I'm just playing around with the top while doing a little something to the top. I did want to texture this. And y'all, I'm just absolutely like, I was really loving the way that this soap looked. Again, like I said, it had like a very, very creamy look to it and I absolutely just love it. Alright, so 24 hours later, it was time for me to cut my soap. Now this soap right here did take a total of about three days, literally from start to finish, from making the sea moss gel to making the soap the following day and then cutting it the next day. So it took me about three days to make, but I will say it was definitely worth it. Again, I will be working with sea moss in the near future. So, but right here, I'm just taking my soap out of the mold and from the looks of it, I did get a full gel. Also, right here at the bottom, remember when I was spamming it on the, on the table, I mentioned that about the little bubbles. You can see those little bubbles on the bottom and I think a few on the side right there. But other than that, the soap is still fine. We're still gonna use it. So right here, I'm just putting it into my cutter 
If you're new to my channel, I turn my I turn my soaps on their sides, especially whenever I texture my tops, so that way I don't smash my tops. But let me finish cutting this up, and then I will be right back. And if you are new to my channel right now I am just getting ready to stamp my soaps and I like to place a piece of cling wrap in between the soap and the stamp so that way no soap gets into my letters you can spray your stamp but I don't do that I just use a piece of cling wrap that way I'm not getting my stamp wet or anything like that are all done you guys here she is our sea moss soap if you enjoyed this video please leave us a thumbs up and if you have not done so already consider subscribing to our channel and to all of our amazing subscribers we thank you guys so much and until next time i will see you guys later